we're back. I think that was like precisely a minute. Because the 60 second commercial I just triggered just ended as I came back. <laughs> alrighty. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Where are we? We're in Loverage Town. Let's go get some balls and shit. Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? You may. I'm going to buy... We've got 32 of those. Ultra Balls, we have four of. We have $16,000. We have to remember to save money for cookies as well. We get cookies here. What else have we got? What else have we got? Max Repels. Uh, we need Awakening, Burn Heal, Ice Heal, Full Heal. Alright, we don't worry about any of that. Potions. I think we're okay on for the moment, aren't we? Two of those, nine of those, seven of those. Yeah, we're okay. We've got a bunch of water and soda and stuff as well, don't forget. Alright, so let's grab some more pearls. Just grab my balls right there. Um, let's grab my balls again. Another ten, so we get a premier ball. And... Let's grab my balls. Alright, so at least it was 6.6, .6 and we'll keep that for the lava cookies. Steady bit of a little 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 bit of a Alright, I feel like it's been a while since we've thrown a save down, hasn't it? Did I save before I went to break? I don't remember. Let's do one anyway. Alrighty, so... Man, that roof looks cool. Look at that roof. That's a nice roof texture. Herb shop. Better taste, better cure. I heard that an egg was found, but... Oh yeah, the egg. The egg, the egg, the egg. Are we going to worry about the egg? Hmm. You've come all of here to look at a herbal medicine leverage. That's really commendable. I like it. Take this. Charcoal. Nice. All right. What have we got herb wise? Heal powder is 450, energy powder is 500, that's 50 HP, energy root 200 HP, 800, revival herb. That's like half price revival, isn't it? Because revive is like 5000, I think, isn't it? We, won't, we don't need that just yet, but we have to remember that. Herb medicine works impressively well, but your Pokemon will dislike you for it. It must be horribly better. I like bitter things. Right, that's that dialogue done. There's the gym. Cool. Uh, I have an egg. I have to touch about covering in hot sand and hot springs, but there's not seem to be enough. But it would be best if it kept together Pokemon and carried about. You're a trendy yes, you're a very Not yet. Not yet. Uh, we we'll draw as much as we need. Hot springs run dry. Is it a magical? No, it's not magical. It's geography. Uh, geology. Oh, backward geology. Uh, uh, near active volcanoes. You. Do you have a thing? I was buried in this hot sand, enjoying the heavenly warmth of a sandbar. I was just thinking I could really get used to this when a Pokemon went to nip to my backside. <laughs> Gah! Alrighty. Moo moo milk. It's great before entering the hot springs. It's even better afterwards. How about some? Uh, we don't really need moo moo milk right now, do we? I feel utterly useless. Ha 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 Dum dum dum. Uh. Bloody, I'm getting all three. Get one trade to go for a reset. Second, get a reset. Capture two randoms. Trade for another. What? 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 
I'm getting all three. Get one trade, two GF, restart, get a second trade, GF, restart, then again, then capture two randoms, trade for the other two. Oh, you mean the starters? Right, okay. Context. Um, yeah, with, 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 with the trading system and one to trade, getting, getting the starters isn't as hard as it used to be. Like, getting all three starters is not nearly as hard as it used to be. There are plenty of breeders around that'll just have tons of them up on the trade system. Um... I'm sorry, I didn't think there were that many emotes. What are you talking about, Simpson? What are you worried about? Come to find there for Pokemon only site. It can't be helped. It seems the hot springs to the gym too, though I should give them a try. Uh, oh yeah, I get to go through the pink doors. Because I'm a girl. <laughs> It feels so warm in my clothes and all of my belongings in my bag. So warm. Sploosh, 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 sploosh. I'll just swim a few laps. Ah, very refreshing. Come to the boy's side. <laughs> I want to see penis. Oh, nobody's here. <laughs> Uh, hey, Blunty, does the fairy girl give you anything in the mouth? Sure does. She sure does. Um, do you want to know what it is? Because I got it yesterday. I can tell you, but it, if you don't want to be spoiled, I won't tell you. I don't know what the item does, I just know what it's called. I gave a red poker block to my Pokemon. It looks cool all of a sudden. No, damn it. Stop sitting down on things when I want to talk to people. Seems to me that more I walk my Pokemon, the friendly they become towards me. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so, before we go and hit the gym, let's go and do the thing where we just, uh, collect a few Mon for the sake of doing some Wonder Trading, because we just haven't done that. We just haven't done that. Oh wait, can we get to back to some grass from here? I don't think we can, can we? No, we certainly can't. Oh. The one Lord Z says hello. Uh, Blunty says hello back. Um, do, 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 do. I found a new gay. I put the new gay in the pocket. Oh shit, it's daylight. It's already dawn. <laughs> Good morning, Hans. Uh, bummer, I missed it then, so tell me. It's something called a Comet Shard. I don't know whether that's a held item or just something you can sell for a bunch of money. It's just called a Comet Shard. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, can we get away with the tackle on these guys? Nope. Okay. We're going to have to switch out if we're going to catch a few of these guys. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Okay, Breloom. Switch. You're not ideal for chasing down fire types and stuff, but still. Hang on a sec. I thought I saw. Yes, I did. Another pickup item. What do we get? What do we get? A great ball. Nice. Uh, Dr. Baylip says I should... Oh, you got a, some aftershocks happening right now in New Zealand. Jeez. Hold on to something. <laughs> uh, New Zealand... Uh, New how many how many earthquakes has it been now in New Zealand? There's like a dozen over the last couple of days. Is it a bad one? Are you okay? Eight hundred and eighty-two aftershocks. Are you serious? That's a lot of aftershocks. Oh, awesome. One false swipe will do us. 
on these guys. That makes life a bit easier. Some huge summer by screen, I think. Yeah, bit of a drama. I've only ever experienced one earthquake myself. I was in Japan at the time, in Tokyo. There was, uh, I think it was about 4.2, if memory serves. 4.2 magnitude earthquake, kind of across the bay, across Tokyo Bay. I was staying in Tokyo, the earthquake was a little bit across Tokyo Bay. So by the time it got to me, I was in my hotel at the time. It was uh, evening, early evening. I was just watching some <laughs> awesome Japanese TV as I was uh, sort of scanning down for the night. And I heard a rumble at my... I was on the bed at the time, and my bed sort of went as the, as the entire building sort of wobbled. And I was like, what the hell is that? And then I realized, I went, hang on a sec, I'm in Japan. Japan is prone to earthquakes. So I got on the Twitter, and hashtag Japan, hashtag earthquake, search, search, search. And sure enough, there were some news reports of the uh, earthquake and the location of it. I went, ah, I felt my first earthquake. But yeah, it was a, it was a relatively small one. And a little bit far away from me, well not super far, but far enough that it was just kind of weird and just wobbling in my hotel bed. Godzilla! <laughs> yeah, it was just Godzilla going for a stroll. Uh, Numel is extremely dull-witted. It doesn't notice being hit. However, it can't stand hunger for even a second. I know how you feel, Numel. I know how you feel. This Pokemon's body is a seething cauldron of boiling magma. Alright. Let's, um, I don't know, let's get ten for the wonder trading. Ten Pokemon. Whoops. Damn it. No ordinary Machop. I was hunting down the sneaky Machop. You ruined it. Yeah, I think you'll find that fairly ineffective against my Breloom. There we go. Uh, yeah, mainly because of the fault line in Japan, so it covers. Yeah. Yeah. Same with New Zealand, actually. They're, they're sitting quite close to a tectonic plate boundary. Or, no, wait. Is New Zealand on a tectonic plate boundary, or is it a volcanic line? I guess they're one of the, kind of the same thing, almost the same thing. I don't know. Is it enough? Oh, it's enough. Beautiful. One false swipe for each of these so far. I love it. I love it. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty lucky in Australia. We're relatively ge geographically stable. I mean, there are certain places in Australia that are prone to earthquakes, but not super frequently, and they're not normally super big. There was, like, north of Sydney, by about oh, an hour's drive or so, I think, two hour or two hours drive, but a little bit north of Sydney, there's a place called Newcastle. Um, they're a little bit prone to earthquakes. About, I want to say about 20 years ago, they had a really bad one kind of just wrecked a whole bunch of shit. Um, and back down in Tasmania, where I grew up, there's a little little island. Um, and there are certain areas sort of uh, in the internal sort of section of Tasmania where no one really lives that tend to get, well, fairly regular small earthquakes. Yeah. Um... Yeah, not not terribly prone to earthquakes, this Australia. Japan is a volcanic. Everyone forgets Mount Fuji is also forgetting. I don't forget. I've seen Mount Fuji. It looks exactly like a classic volcano. Perfect cone shape. It's beautiful. Mount, Mount Fuji is literally, I think, the most, the prettiest mountain I've ever seen. It is so pretty. Perfectly snow-capped. 
almost almost perfectly symmetrical. It's it's ridiculous. So pretty. Uh, and when I was there, I couldn't I couldn't see Mount Fuji from my hotel room, but I could see. Who who keeps who, who who's blowing that stupid horn? Thank you for the follow, Ruben. Blowing the stupid horn. Uh, as I was saying, I, I could see the I could see Mount Fuji from the um, breakfast buffet in the hotel. So every morning, every morning I got a lovely view of Mount Fuji. It was awesome. Hey, but one ooh uh, out one. <laughs> I'm presuming blue one or blue L. That's that's how you want it pronounced. But B one U E one. Uh, did I get the paralysis off? I sure did. I sure did. Cool. False swipe, Rooney. Uh, dum dum dum. Cyclones, hurricanes, and tsunamis. Earthquakes, not so much. Okay, so this will be what, number three? Nailed it! Yeah, Tsunami's not a huge problem in Australia either. I mean, it could be, if there's an earthquake in the right place. A lot of the population of Australia could be just fucked. Because most of us live on the coast. Like, literally, I think something like 85, maybe even 90% of Australia's population is just on the coast. Or very close to the coast. Because most of the inside of Australia is very hard to live in. <laughs> so yeah, if we ever get struck by a tsunami, particularly on the sort of uh, east side of the continent, where the majority of the majority live, uh, yeah, we're wrecked. <laughs> Um, hey Blunty, did the tick show up on your screen? What tick? What tick? What are we talking about? Uh, oh, you mean that in your comment? Yes, yes it did. The, the check mark, yeah. <laughs> yes it did. I thought you were talking about, like, on, on in my game screen or something. It was weird. Uh, what's your thoughts on Ultra Beasts and the designs? So you want to play it again? Oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh my goodness gracious! Ten generous buckaroonies coming in from B1 UE1 <laughs> with uh, oh, no message at all. Just a ten dollar notion. Thank you ever so much, mate. Uh, I'll adjust my totals here. Save. Correct, Amundo. All right, so you get to name the next Pokemon we catch, which just happens to be this. Numel right here, if everything goes to plan at least. There's a chance he could mess me up, like avoiding the stun spore, for instance. And doing that. Fortunately, I think that's the, the toughest fire uh, attack he knows at this stage. Still going for a sizzle puss? No, I was just talking about that, Blue. I was just talking about that. He's the, the final evolution of sizzle puss, I'm, I don't like it. I don't like the design. The, the kitty cat wrestler thing, I just think it looks a bit boring and dull and ugh. However, the final evolution of the owl, of Owlet, that, it looks basically like an owl version of Green Arrow. So I think I've changed my mind. I want Green Arrow Owl. Green Owlo. <gasps> I just thought of the name for my starter. Green Owlo. <laughs> oh, I hope it fits. How many characters do we get? G R E E N O W L O. Five. That's nine. I think it'll fit because we get we get at least nine characters. Don't we? I think we get twelve characters, thirteen characters. Nine. Definitely, we get at least nine though. Green owl. I'm making a note. I'm making a note. I've got to write that down so I don't forget. Green owl. -o. Now I have to pick him just because I have the most awesome name ever. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, right, what are we doing? False swiping. Okay. <laughs> Green Owlo. I'm a fucking genius. 
Alrighty, into the bag we go. Pack of balls. And because this is a special donation tip jar naming one, we'll might use a premier ball, I think. When are they going to have a starter that is ghost type or psychic? Yeah, I know, right? I was hoping they were going to go for different typings than the classic. Hey, we got away with it. I was hoping we were going to get some more interesting starters. Instead of the old fire, grass, water thing over and over and over again. I'm ready for something new. And I think I was talking about this way before it was even announced. We had a chat about this on stream. I'm ready for something new. Ghost type and psychic type and... What would you pair that with? What would be the third one in that sort of trilogy? Uh, maybe Steel. Yeah? Steel type, Ghost type, Psychic type. Would that be an interesting trilogy? I think it would. Uh, all right, Blue, your, your naming uh, is up. So we go, yes. Blue says, I can't think of anything creative. Maybe Fire Camel? <laughs> fire Camel? Sure. Um, fire Camel. Say it is one word. Fire Camel. I'll leave that there for a second in case you want to have another stab at it. Or confirm Fire Camel. <laughs> Uh, dra oh, yes, X XO. Dragon. Dragon, Psychic, and Ghost. That would be an interesting starter trilogy. The weakness triangle is a bit wonky there, though, but who cares? Who cares? Uh, Firegrass Water, what are the, st uh, are the standards? I was thinking of their dual type. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could always dual type them with other things as well. Grass Psychic, that'd be interesting. And Water Steel. Do we have any Water Steel types? Water steel. Uh, there are some water types that know some steel moves. Are there any water steel types? I don't know. Confirm. Confirm. Locking it in. Fire them all. Nice. Alright. So let's catch a few more. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> uh... Oh, Empoleon, yeah, 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 yeah. I've never used him. That's probably why I didn't remember. But yes, of course, Doi. <laughs> Karate chop! We should probably do a little bit of healing after this one. Uh, Ruben says, Game fucky leaks. We know by now, I bet. <laughs> what? Doom, doom. Yeah, I was, um... I woke up at like 3am this morning. So I flipped on my Apple TV and I was poking around on Twitch. And why doesn't Twitch have an official Apple TV app yet, by the way? Super stupid. Anyway, a third-party Twitch app I was using... I was poking around the Pokemon stream, seeing who was doing what. Most of it's in German, because at that time of night, it's the opposite side of the world in Germans and stuff. Found someone streaming the new game already. Quickly ended that stream, so I wasn't spoiled. To their credit, though, the title of that stream was Spoilers Ahead. I just didn't read it. I was just clicking on random streams, trying to find something interesting to watch. <laughs> but yeah, there are, there are already people streaming the new games, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> Fossils classes are now hosting me for one viewers. <laughs> Thanks, Fossils. Give it a Alrighty. So, we're not counting Blue's uh, Fire Camel. We're not going to want to trade him away. So, how many is that now? Not counting that? I think four or five. I don't know. Yeah. 
Maybe we'll just one to tread the, the, the few we've collected so far. See how we go. I don't want to do this for too long. I need to make some progress. I'm feeling the itch to make some progress. We only have a few days left. Ooh. I forgot to heal. Luckily, that wasn't very effective. <laughs> Five, Sizzinzin? Yeah, sounds about right. Biz, biz, biz. Alright, we'll do a couple more, maybe. But I'm starting to get antsy to make some more progress. Hit that gym. Although we started with 52 Pokeballs, we are now down to 47, so yeah. And that's number five. Living on the edge! What the? Hang on. Email with weird... Oh, okay. That was just that. Psh. I don't need to know that. Someone's emailing me from some company called the Social Vape Company. The fuck? Yeah, okay. I'm not clicking on that weird Google link. <laughs> Do you play Smash? No. No, I don't. Don't have the time required to invest to be good enough at Smash to be competitive. I mean, I could play the one-player game, I suppose, but what ifs. I have played Smash. Uh, I just don't own it and don't play it regularly or anything like that. But I certainly have played it. Favorite Pokemon generation so far? I really liked X and Y. They were really nice games. You know, they had the new engine, the 3D stuff. The story was fantastic. I liked, really liked the story in X and Y, and the characters were fun. They did a few different things, freshen things up. Yeah, I think... At least in modern times. You know, not counting the... That gold and silver sort of era. Crystal I loved. But yeah, X and Y, I think... Very narrowly... Would be my favourite so far. Not by a wide margin. But certainly... I think, I think that was the most fun I had. I mean, I always have fun with the Pokemon, but the most fun, probably X and Y. Just because it was more interesting, I think. It was cool stuff to do. Um, and yeah, and quite pretty for a, for a Pokemon game. <laughs> Ooh, avoided two spores. And, oh, I forgot to heal again. <laughs> Might have made a slight mistake. Come on, third time's the charm. Spore, avoid it again? Bloody hell, what's up with this numeral? Alright. Oh, now I'm burned. Okay. Yeah, uh, this numeral has beaten me. We're just gonna run. <laughs> Let's heal up. Oh, got out of the grass in time. Yay. Oh, we can't get back up that way, can we? Damn it. To go the long way. Can't believe a Numel bested me. Feel a bit shamed about that. <laughs> Hunters, I agree on the XMI thing. Those games brought me back to Pokemon. Yeah, I think that's that's another great thing about XMI. They that was one of the generations that brought a lot of people back to the franchise because it was doing something you know fresh. Or fresh-ish. Fresher. <laughs> as far as Pokemon games go, anyway. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Time for this. Finally time for lava cookies. Woo! Give me some hype in the chat room for the lava cookies. <laughs> when all that mountain climbing has made you tired, try lava cookies. They're Mount Chimney's local specialty. Try one, they're just 200 Poke Yen. Bargain! Doom, 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 doom. I really wish you could buy a dozen at a time, though. Doom, 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 doom. Han says the same. I hadn't played the full game since Crystal, but then next time I bought back. See? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 
Cookies! <laughs> Cookie hype. How about least favorite Pokemon generation? Black and white. Black and white and black and white 2 are the only Pokemon games I've never actually bothered to finish. Just because I got so bored. They were not very good. I keep saying I still have them here. I still have both my copies. Black and white, black and white 2. Oh, actually, I don't think I have both. I don't have black and white. I have white and black 2, I think is the way I went. But I never finished either of them. I don't think even I don't even think I got past the second or third gym before I got bored pantsless. Maybe one day I'll go back to them. Maybe I'll stream maybe if I stream them they'll be more interesting. <laughs> one day, maybe. Probably not. Two hundred it's not two hundred dollars, it's two hundred poke yen. It's yen. So it's basically like two dollars. Two dollars for a cookie. But they're cookies that heal all status conditions. It's a fucking bargain. That's why they make you buy them one at a time. Like with the sodas and the fresh waters and stuff. Because they're so cheap and so effective, they have to make it inconvenient to get a lot of them. <laughs> because gameplay reasons. Even that much for... No, I've, I've paid two dollars for a fancy cookie before. Like super, super duper fancy cookies. In a cafe or something. Uh, for my reason says, I finished black, we still haven't finished black too. Yeah, see? I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Thought it was a hundred yen to a dollar? That's what I'm saying. It's roughly that. So yeah, two hundred poker yen. It's about two dollars. In rough video game money math. <laughs> How many is that? I've been keeping count. I'm just tap an A. A. Do, 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 do. All right, that'll do us. We're down to fourteen hundred poke yen. I feel like that's a good place to stop. Oops, didn't mean to get on the bike. Meant to press that button. How many did we get? How many did we get? Uh, where's my medicine pocket? There it is. Oops, wrong one. Oh, there they are. Why are they up there? Weird. 28. Oh, that's heaps. Heaps! Looks like they've got a bit of nori on them, doesn't it? A cookie with a sheet of nori on it. Or seaweed, for those who... Uh, don't know. Actually, let's uh, buy one more. Uh, wrong button again. Love a cookie. Burn healed! Hooray! Just didn't want to walk too far with Breloom burned. Because it'll ruin how much he likes me. <laughs> um, actually, we could probably just... Probably just uh, go ahead and super potion him. And just keep hunting for a little while on our way down. Because why wouldn't you? Still, you can't get a good cookie for two dollars. You might be able to get a cookie for yeah. I think Subway cookies are about two bucks, aren't they? They're double chocolate chip cookies or something. Oh, those are so good. <laughs> uh, you ever played Dishonored games? No, but I am interested in playing Dishonored 2. That looks pretty good. 
I'm hearing good things. It's not high on the priority list, though. Alrighty. Dishonored one makes my top five best games of all time. I remember hearing that had mixed reviews. Am I right about? Am I right in thinking that? Or. Any in any case, like I said, I, I'm hearing good things about two. Uh, Meow says JC, whose uh, name is showing up for me in that hideous light green text which I can barely read half the time. <laughs> Hello, JC. Uh, oh, and hello again to Matilda. Welcome back to the stream. Whoops, wrong, 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 wrong. Finger slipped. I wanted to go into my bag. And where's my soda pop? How many of those do I have? Just eleven. Okay, let's no no that's not the fresh water. Eight of those. Yeah, maybe we do need some more soda pops and stuff actually. But I don't have as much healing stuff as I thought I did. It's not HP stuff. Uh Josie says hello, I'm red on my screen, sorry. That's alright. It's not your fault. It's random. Unless you manually selected it's random anyway. There we go. Ooh, there we go. That's the one I've been waiting for. The third type in this area. Come here, Spoink. Come here, Spoink. No random encounters, no random encounters, no random encounters. Hooray! Nailed it. Hello, Sean. G'day, Bunty and Chet. Log in. You get an ad for Champ Chong. Yeah, I saw that ad for... um. Some computer company, uh, o o Omega. It's such a terrible ad. I mean, I have nothing against Champ Chong. I've met him a few times, talked to him a few times. No problems with the man. But that is a terrible, terrible, terrible ad. And it's so badly edited and so badly shot. I cannot believe a, a company selling computers is using that ad. And if they come to me, I will shoot them a lovely, lovely ad with a proper camera and lovely and properly lit and everything and edited, and, you know, edited in a way that doesn't make it look like a, a child with a severe head injury slapped his head on the keyboard and did it. Oh my God. I cannot believe they are paying to show that to people. It is such a bad video ad. So, yeah, cringy. Cringy is, I hate the word cringy. It's way overused by today's youth as far as I'm concerned, but it is absolutely cringy. In fact, I might email them and say, hey, would you like an ad that doesn't look like shit? I'll make one for you. I saw your computers when I was at PAX Australia. They look kind of cool. I'm sure I could make them look way better on camera than he does. <laughs> Sorry, champ, if you're listening, but he never, he wouldn't watch me. I don't think he likes me much, actually. He barely looked me in the eye last time I saw him. I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> I have no problem with the man. Uh, hello, fish. Yeah, hey, we're getting all the regulars pouring in all of a sudden. Seems so. Yeah, yeah, it was just. Uh, I mean, Champ is, is probably objectively better at video games than I am, easily. But when it comes to sh using a camera, my God, the guy just just does not know what he's doing. <laughs> and editing, forget about it. He's horrible. I don't know if he chopped that together from a larger video or 
the computer company chopped it together from a larger video he made about that machine, or whoever edited it, though, it was awful. Just awful. Like, like eye-stabbingly crap. <laughs> oh, so bad. Sorry, champ. Matilda says, do you made the ad on Twitch before? Yeah. It's probably localized. Because it's Champ Jungle, it's Australian, so I'm, I'm guessing it's probably only being showed to Australians. Who knows? But it's super bad. Super duper bad. Haha, <laughs> uh, -ha, yeah, I saw you guys stay on opposite ends with your Mod Nation video a few years back. Mod Nation video? I don't even remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <coughs> it's, it's time to read the bio. Spoink bounces around on its tail. The shock of its bouncing makes its heart pump. As a result, this Pokemon cannot afford to stop bouncing. If it stops, its heart will stop. If it stops bouncing, it will die. What a terrible way to live. <laughs> Forever bouncing. For fear your heart will stop. Can't imagine a more miserable existence. Although Spoink does seem happy enough, doesn't he? Someone balances their ball on his head and he has to bounce to live. I don't know. Not a job I'd want. Are you talking about that PC moderator got on the way here? Probably, Fish. Probably. <laughs> That spoke description show brutal. It's it's not even close to the most brutal Pokemon bio. There are some shocking ones, just heartbreakingly shocking ones in, in the various generations. Some of them are just horrifying, literally horrifying. Uh, I can't remember who it's for, but there's one Pokemon who's literally like the the. It, it's a ghost type Pokemon, and it's it's made up of the 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 souls of children who got lost and died in a forest or something like that. Who is that? I can't even remember. <laughs> but it's awful. Less awful in Japanese because j there's a different culture around the death and spirits and stuff in Japan. It's less creepy. But still. How the fuck do they sleep? I don't think they do. <laughs> they like sharks. They have to keep moving. It's actually a misnomer. There are some sharks who can stop swimming. They pump their gills manually. Uh, we're going to need another false swipe. Litwick, yes, yes, Litwick. Litwick, that's the one that's the, the ghost of lo dead lost children in the forest or something. <laughs> Litwick. I've always wondered how Pokemon gets a PG rating since some of its Pokedex entries are so adult. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh yes, Yamask is, is another one. Uh, the it's its face is the uh, its face is the ma is is the dead people. <laughs> Made of dead people's faces, Yamask. Yeah, that's the one. That's another horrifying one. A lot of spooky ghost ones have terrible, terrible bios. Uh, Sean of Sunon says, Anyone in chat use the app Candid? I've seen a few YouTubers make videos about it, download it. Never heard of it. What's it do? Phantump. Oh, Phantump is it? Libic, Libic or Phantump? Well, they're close. Yeah, Litwick is the candle. Phantop is the the thing. Uh, Litwick burns, so it should stay lit. And that little tree stump one. Oh, dust clops. Yeah, that's another one. This is spooky one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, we gold crowned the area. Hooray! All right, let's uh, let's head back to town. We'll heal up. Do some wonder trading. And then we'll hit the gym. Uh, right. 
what he's going to says. Bunty, although it reminds me that of that South Park episode where they still get a PG rating due to only having a certain amount of swear words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then, of course, there's the gambling that's in um, several of the earlier Pokemon games, which has had to be taken out because of helicopter parents. Uh, that was uh, an adult concept as well. Just gambling, cash, cash money gambling. Alrighty. So we healed up, we caught a few Pokemon. Let's go ahead and pop a save. Alrighty, so we should be set up for this. Yes, I know. I know. Just let me do it. Alright. One to trade. So how is your unusual Pokemon run going? Well, it's all right. A couple of the guys have impressed me so far. Come on. Should still be set up correctly. Don't think I've changed anything on my router since we last used this. Data necessary for the interconnection has been obtained. Cool. Would you like to say game? Yes. Do Lava Cool says heading to bed now. Have a good night. I'm glad you I'm glad you caught the lava cookies then, Lava Cool. <laughs> Enjoy your rest. Alright, looks like we're connecting. Good. So no drift uh, Driftloon steals kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh no more gambling in ORS bum out. Yeah. So we're looking forward to when I first played it. Yep. Bunchy, did you hear someone's working on an ORS hack which reopens the game corner? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wonder trading. Yep, doing a little bit of wonder trading. Just a little bit. That's why we were catching Pokemon just now. Uh, hang on, we've got to find the one that we shouldn't trade away. Where is the one we named? Fire Camel. You. Can we move? Okay, we must not trade that one away. That was named by a donator guy. So let's do this one first. Double check if it's not the way. Okay. Let's see if we get anything interesting. Hopefully there's enough people playing. You imagine there might be a lot of people playing through, like I am, ahead of Sun and Moon. So hopefully it won't take us too long to get trade partners. Yay! Here we got South Korea. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Now, are we going to get gooned, is the question. Are we going to get gooned? Uh, <laughs> nope. Almost as bad, though. Psh. Come on, man. At least I waited to catch more interesting Pokemon. But a Caterpie? Come on, man. Ooh, it's an English Caterpie, too. So she was just retrading the crap Pokemon that she got traded. Because that wasn't a Korean Caterpie, was it? <clears throat> so, alright. We are playing by good guy blunty rules. If we get something crap, we're not going to send it back out. We're just going to release it or keep it or throw it away or do something with it later. We are not going to send out crappy Pokemon. Just found a double use for the stylus. It's good for scratching the front of your ear when you've got headphones on. <laughs> Alrighty, who's going to get my Machop? Doom, doom. Scarlet from New Jersey, look out, an American. We're about to get gooned. Americans are crap at wonder trading. Yep, there we go. Ah, magic Carp. Thanks, Scarlet from New Jersey. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's at least have a look at it. Is, is it. is it at least like super high level or something interesting? It is not. It's a level 1 magic up. Okay, so that's, that's a breeder reject right there. Wrong nature, presumably. Alright. 
Seismic tossing, karate chopping Machop. He wants it. Uh, Jesse says, I'm going to say they'll take that firstly big from New Jersey, but yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Interesting uh, fact about New Jersey. It was ranked fourth highest on the list of uh, American locations that immediately after Trump was elected were Googling how to leave America. It was Hawaii, Alaska, some other Midwest state, and New Jersey were the top four states Googling for how to get the fuck out of America the day that Trump was announced as uh, having won the election. <laughs> And I was saying at the time, you know, uh, uh, not crap, but not interesting. Okay. I was saying at the time, you know, when even the people from New Jersey want to leave, you have an issue. <laughs> Plenty right nature, probably not 5 OV. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's have a look at this. He wasn't a special Pokeball. What do we got there? 25, Spanish. Acid, Toxic Spikes, Bubble Beam, Wrap. I think that's been trained. They don't normally come out with Toxic Spikes, do they? Hmm. Uh, oh, there's the new one we must not trade. Let's move on to the next matchup. Crush Up, Force Up, Low Sweep, Seismic Toss. Level 16, out you go. To be fair, the people from New Jersey were probably ready to jump on any bus that would get them out of there. Well, yeah, any any excuse to leave New Jersey, I guess. <laughs> uh, I will never understand that. Even if you wanted to, no one else in the world wants Americans. Well, you know what? The Americans who want to leave because Trump is president are the Americans who should stay and be the loudest. Because they are the people who are going to save the nation from Trump. If you all leave, the only people left behind are the Trump supporters. And the only thing that's going to happen there is America is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And more racist and more hateful and more evil and more bigoted. The people who want to leave because Trump is president have to stay. You must stay and be heard. Bum, bum, no trade partner. Okay. Let's try again. Yes. And that guy right there. Why well, would you want to leave Jersey? That's where Jay Salvaba. <laughs> Uh, Pika says, as a person who lives in the south, is a woman, and as a friend of mine puts it, looks vaguely not white. <laughs> vaguely not white. I want out. Uh, just for it. Yeah. Understandable, but it's kind of important you guys stick around. And uh, Bonjour, Ethan, from France. Bonjour, Ethan. <laughs> am I watching Agent of Shield? Sure am. It's not terrific right now. It's not terrific. But it's okay. There's lots of rumors going around. This will probably be the last season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The ratings are continuing to drop, apparently. It's a pity. The show has a lot of potential. Fantastic characters, but... Yeah. Mm. Alright, let's have a look at this oddish we just got. Not super jazzed about it, but let's see. Level 12, Olish from Caleb. Chlorophyll ability, absorbs sweet sedents. That's just a regular wild catch, Olish. Let's send that guy back out. Why not? Use a variant where they capture five Pokemon, want to trade them all, and when a Pokemon dies, they want to trade it. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> uh, Jesse says, I agree, but if I actually live to see a president impeached nowadays, I'm only 28, I will seriously be surprised. Yeah, oh, 
qu'est-ce que... Uh, yeah, if John gives some peach, you get pence, which, yeah, is, is hardly an improvement. <laughs> really not a big improvement there. I feel like most people are just going to go along with it because they want to see what will happen. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. How bad can things possibly get? Hmm... All right, let's have a look at the Silcoon. Uh, um, okay, let's not retrade that because it's kind of crap. Let's send out a new mole, see what happens. Flame burst on the new mole. It's a pity he didn't actually try and use that on me. Probably would have got somewhere. <laughs> boom, 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 Pence is definitely not a route. There's a running theory now that they put Pence in the VP slot to ensure no one was assassinate Trump. <laughs> That's not completely crazy. Alright, enough politics. Let's move on. <laughs> I hate this. Doom, 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 doom. I'm really hoping that Mimiku, the little, the, the, the little Pikachu ghost typey fella there, I'm really hoping he's actually a good Pokemon, because I really want to use one. Oh, we couldn't find a trade partner? Okay. He's so cute. I mean, he's obviously very, very specifically manufactured to be endearing and cute. And if you're a cynic about it. But still, if you just lie back and accept it, Mimiku is very cute. I like him. Um, yay, Sun and Moon, Purple Heart Days. Did you mean Helios <laughs> less than three? Yeah. <laughs> Accidental emoticon hype. <laughs> um, oh, the Grand Tour starts. Oh, yes, the Grand Tour. Eee! I can't wait. Uh, who was, uh, what was that, Dan the Man? I didn't read. I think that was Dan the Man. Didn't see where I was from. Uh, oh! Bloody hell! There we go! There's something interesting. How about that, then? Dragalgi! Uh, uh, dra dra drag... 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 Alg Algi? I, I, I don't think I've ever tried to say his name out loud. Let's have a look at it. Uh, four days until I have to pirate it. Yes, fish. Four days until we Australians have to pirate it. Drag Algi. It is Drag Algi. Yeah. Uh, level 35. Good. I can use him. Uh, but then again, we don't really need... Oh, well, he's not a water type, is he? He's Poison Dragon. So, yeah, maybe we can use him. Uh, water Pulse, Double Team, Toxic, Aquatel. Huh. Interesting. Dum, 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 dum. Dan the Man sent the goods. Dan the Man is the man. No question. Dan the Man is the man. Dum, dum, dip, 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 dip. Uh, yeah, in Australia we literally have no other way of getting it because we, uh, that is uh, Gary from Texas. Mm. Yeah, in Australia we have no other legal way of getting the Grand Tour because Amazon doesn't have the video service here. There's no Amazon Prime in Australia. Well, that's not bad. Is that a heavy ball? It's a heavy ball, I think. Um, yeah, I wonder what kind of level that Rhyhorn is. I wonder if he's from Victory Road. Let's have a look. Level 26, good. 
Chip away Smackdown Stomp Bulldoze. Lightning Rod ability. Eh, not so bad. Uh, Spoink. Do we want to trade the Spoink away? We only have one. I mean, we can get more. Okay, let's trade him. Let's trade the Spoink. Doom, 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 doom. We spent years pirating Top Gear back when I said the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yosef from the United States. All right, Yosef. What have you got for me? Oh no! Yosef is kind of a Jew name, isn't it? I'm sending a Jew a pig. Is that offensive? <laughs> I feel bad. Because, you know, the whole pork thing. Wait, am I getting that wrong? Is it is it is pork not kosher for Jews, or am I thinking of the one of the other related religions? Have I just been dumb again? I don't know. I I hope it worked. It was a dumb joke. All right, let's have a look. Offensive? To, it's offensive to point it out. Okay. <laughs> he, oh, he sent me a shellfish too, didn't he? <laughs> okay, so it evens out. <laughs> That's even funnier. Uh, let's have a look at this corn share. Level 25, Bubble, Flower, Bubble Beam, Swords Dance. So not a wild catch. He's actually been using him. Swords Dance. Or unless Swords Dance is an egg move. He's got Mega Launcher as an ability. Pity we don't need a water type. That's kind of cool. We might keep him though. <laughs> I exchanged shellfish with pig. With pork for, uh, with, with a Jew in, um, in America. That's, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, it's not kosher or halal for both. Oh, it's both. Yeah, okay, cool. And no pork isn't kosher for Jews? Didn't think so. Good. I'm glad I got that right. I didn't want to be culturally insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Japan! Japan! Alright, what are we going to get from my lovely, lovely Japanese friend? The Japanese are always good on modern trades. They send good stuff. Almost without exception. And there we go. We got a froggy. Probably a level one breeding reject, I'm guessing. Well, that's an even a Japanese froggy too. Lovely. I mean, again, not that we need another water type, but still, cool. Let's have a look. Oh, ah, oh, my back just spasmed. That was unpleasant. I should probably go take some more painkillers soon. What time is it? So, oh, yeah, we should probably wrap up, wrap up the stream pretty soon. We'll do the gym. We'll wrap the stream. Uh, Paul, many numbers, cheered me 100 bits. Thanks you very much. Wonder Dread Hope. I do love Wonder Dreading. Uh, called it. Level 1 Froakie. Our general trainer is Kazoo. Pound and Growl. No egg moves? I mean, or is... Um, yeah. Okay, uh, let's send out one more Machop. But not Jackie. A regular Machop. No, not the Thunder Punching Machop either. Let's send out... Skitty? No, I don't want to send out Skitty. Gloopin, maybe. Because we do have an alternate poison type now. So yeah, let's send out Gloopin. See what comes back. Maybe? Maybe? Yes. Doom, doom, doom. Bum, 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 bum. Um, Daryl Dixon says, Hi man, I follow all your YouTube videos for Teach How to Stream, but the, here in Italy there isn't Nintendo Modified USB. Uh, neither is there in Australia. You have to buy it from Japan. Oh, there we go. We got another starter. Nice, that was worth doing. Chimcho, <laughs> chimcho. You know what? I have never trained a Chimchar. Maybe we should use him for our fire type. Let's have a look at him. Chimchar, where are you? There you are. Yep, level one. 
Scratch and Leer, Jolly Nature, Blaze Ability. Yeah. Alright, maybe one more Wonder Trade. How about my Spinder? Cool, cool move set for a Spinder. Psybeam, Copycat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. We're, we're, we seem to be on a streak at the moment. Let's see. Let's see how far we can push. Um, what are bits? I was off trips on those. Bits are kind of an emoticon you buy in order to be able. To, uh, I don't know. Just just look at the Twitch page about bits. I don't know even how to explain it properly. It's silly, but fun. Claire from Scotland. Ooh, Claire from Scotland. Hello, Claire. B -b -b nice! Relatively rare. Uh, and unobtainable in this particular game, if I remember correctly. That's an X and Y exclusive is still, I believe. Furfuru. I have no idea what type that is either, actually. I've never even used one. But I don't... They don't evolve, do they? So now we've got in the decks. So we really don't need it for anything else. We could send it back out. Level 10 for Furu. Jean Paul is the original trainer. So she was retrading it. Tackle, Growl, Sound Attack, Baby Doll Eyes. Yeah. Fur Coat, Hasty. Yeah. Let's send that one back out. That was cool. <laughs> lama, 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 lama. Uh, Daryl Dixon is from Japan. Only find fake websites, surf my, the, the, there is. If you go into my area down below, you will find a direct link, I think. You should find a direct link to the place I purchased mine from, called Katsu Kitty. They are legitimate. And that's 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 who I got mine from. Germany. I don't know if I've ever had a trade from Germany. From Alex. Kampf. Woof, woof. It's more of a dog than a llama, isn't it? It's kind of a llama dog. Llama dog! What do we get? Ugh. Womp womp. Cool streak broken. Although. Worth retrading. It's a normal version of Furfur. Yeah, it's 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 an Furfur without a without a haircut. Um, but yeah, normal type. Uh, Nick Tickle says I just got a goon against a uh, Heatran from Japanese. Ouch! Oh, that's sad. The Japanese are normally pretty good with Wonder Trading. Speaking of which, this is Japanese Volbeat. Tackle, double team, confused way, quick attack, natural court by the looks of things. Let's send it back out. See what we get. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Daryl Dixon says, Really, thank you. I find you on YouTube next. I come here for your follow on Twitch. You was really good to explain all my English suck. So that's okay. We got there in the end. I understood what you were talking about. Uh, but yeah, your English isn't superb, but it's good enough. It was good enough to get the problem solved. <laughs> so. Um, that's all you can really hope for. Uh, oh, there we go. There's something worth stopping on. Hello, little cutie bird. Is that shiny? Or is that the normal color? I can't tell. No, I think the shiny has a yellow flower, doesn't it? The colors looked a bit off to me. That'll do for the Wonder Trades. Um... Go back to okay. Where are we? Twenty nine and seventy seven. Okay, we're not doing too bad then. Do do do. Go back to that page. All right. Let's look at this fluet. Do 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 do. Nope, not shiny. Alright, Razor Leaf, Magical Leaf, Fairy Wind, Grassy Terrain. Not bad. Do we need? Do we want a Fairy type in our party? Let's, who, who's being least useful right now? I mean, Mighty Unit's fairly useful, but not super useful. We could certainly use a better Fire type. We don't have a better Fire type at the moment. 
Dust Ox is doing amazingly well. Uh, we need our HM Slave. Nuzleaf is pretty badass, but we do have a grass type there. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Hey, pat on the back. Pat on the back for this guy. Bubbles up a dub dub. Thank you very much, JC. Subscribed. Enjoy your little blunty face and your four new emoticons. Because we unlocked two more yesterday. So I have four now. Hooray! Everybody, please give some blunty love, emoticon style, fellow subscribers, if you would, to our newest subscriber, JC. Um, but I don't know who I want to get rid of to swap in different Pokemon. I don't know. I'm kind of happy with the team. Of, I mean, the team isn't particularly well balanced, but... I mean, Nuzleaf... Maybe is can be replaced with somebody more useful. I don't know. Maybe we'll hold the team with this for now. We'll go to the gym with this team and see how we go. We'll see how we go. What with that dub dub indeed. A little bit of hype for a moment. Huh? Yeah, fish. Yeah, fish. We unlocked two more emotes yesterday. We got to 25 subscribers yesterday. We're 26 now, I believe. Uh. But yeah, we've got a couple of new emoticons. We've got the Hype emoticon and the uh, the Blunt Love emoticon. With my little glooping lips, as we found out earlier today. <laughs> Use the Dragonfishes? Yeah, I think the Dragon... I, I like, I've never... Never ever used him in battle. I very rarely use Dragon types at all. For, I don't know what reason, Dragon types are awesome, but I just never... Maybe because you only get dragon types kind of late in game usually, and by then I'm kind of settled on a team, and I'm reticent to change it. So yeah, maybe we should move him. But yeah, for now, let's stick with the existing team just to do the gym, and when we come back tomorrow, because this will be the end of the stream, we have gone for five hours already. This will be the end of the stream once we get the gym done, and when we come back tomorrow, we'll think about uh, switching up the team a little bit. I'll probably do some grinding tonight, maybe catch a few more Pokemon for Wonder Trades tomorrow as well. But yeah. Alright. How's it going? Chapter B Lily. Lover's gym leader Flannery uses fire type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger than hot on the volcano. Don't do confuse to make it burned. Right. I got a couple of grass type Pokemon, so it could be in trouble, but I got my water pipe here, man, so. Alright, it's this thing, isn't it? Whoop, 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 whoop. Got, got a wily Cody my way down the doors. Nope, not that way. Dim, 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 dim. The dragonfish kicks major ass with toxic. Oh, he does toxic inventor shock as well. Because I already have a Pokemon that does toxic inventor shock. But yeah, the dragonfish might be tougher, eh? Because I was saying before, I really do like that combo. It's a brutal combo. Don't turn your back on me. Oh, 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 oh. yikes! It's hot. Like well, you're standing in volcanic water. So yeah. Uh, you missed Wonder Trading? Who missed Wonder Trading? Oh, Power Call Gamer, you fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, you missed a bit of Wonder Trading, yeah, it was fun. Um, I fall that long when I've broken her legs, who so improved the architecture of this gym. <laughs> maybe, maybe the, um, the, maybe the little platforms are suspended or cushioned on, on water or something. Maybe they give way a little bit to help with the leg breaking problem. <laughs> Alright, this gym probably shouldn't be an issue for me. I should be able to sweep most of it. Oh, I didn't I didn't switch in my lead Pokemon, did I? That was dumb. Oh well. Um well, let's see how we do with uh, the old uh, force palm here. Yep. <laughs> well we'll save my water type for the actual gym leader maybe. We'll let Breloom sweep these guys with the old uh, face palm. <laughs> See how far we get. Parkour game says you fell asleep about two hours ago. Oh well, have the vod. Yeah, you've got the you've got the vod. The vod vod will save you. Nice. <laughs> Just. Spoof. 
the five-fingered palm of death. Although, Breloom only has two fingers, doesn't it? So, I don't know. <laughs> Cosmo wants to live whirlwind. Uh, no. I said no. Thank you. Oh, I love this Breloom. So tough. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, yeah, I thought those bubbles were saying something. <laughs> Ninja by Hiromichi. That's a cool name too, Hiromichi. Alright, Balloon, what you got, what you got, what you got? Um, try Mac Punch. Zip! Not good enough. That was pretty dumb, actually. Using fighting moves against him. Uh, actually, before we go, let's throw a stun sport. Uh oh. Well, that's it for Breloom then. Sorry, buddy. I failed you on that one. My arrogance. Um, you know what, workhorse? Just come and do your thing. Doom, 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 doom. No, not fighting. Let's see what cut does. Uh, just sit you at 25. All the bits the ads would give me better than nothing. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can get bits by watching ads now. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I forgot you don't have to actually flat out buy the bits anymore. They actually reward you with some bits by watching some ads and stuff. <laughs> Which is a fairly smart way to do it, I suppose. Man, I'm not doing well against this coughing, am I? That'll do it. Alright. I'll give you a lava cookie in a second, little body. Little body. Five bits per ad, but they never they never load for you? Maybe the ads are are the oh, are the ads flesh based? Have they not switched across to HTML5 for the ads for the bits thing? Maybe that's it. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? I need a lava cookie. I need a lava cookie. And... Super Potion you up. Just in case we need you again. Do we have... We should have one or two revives, shouldn't we? Three revives, okay. Yeah, we'll use one of those. Bring the balloon back. And a little soda pump action. Beautiful. Let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> uh, should we switch balloon back out now? Let's let's see. He's doing all right, ish. Only thirty-three percent of Americans can actually watch adverts. Not everywhere. Ah, uh, ah, okay. So it's a beta thing. They're just rolling it out. All right. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Come back here and fight me. I want all the XP I can get, thank you. I'm trying to relieve my stress, giggity. Don't come, giggity, along and stress me out. Goo. Chrome, yeah, Chrome doesn't support Flash anymore. Hooray! Oh, and it works... Oh, okay, so maybe... Okay. Must be something else. Seeing as Oz has so few Twitch ads and cycle, I would be seeing the same PC modding ad every time. Probably. Sorry about that, fish. Uh, just know that every time you watch it, I get like half a cent or something. <laughs> it's funny, The um, I was looking yesterday. The revenue I'm getting from bits 
even though I'm not getting tons of bits like cheering, it's it's relatively low compared to some of the other streams I've seen where bits pouring constantly in the big streamers. You know, uh, the, the already the the revenue I'm getting from bits far exceeds anything I ever got from advertising revenue. <laughs> uh, there we are. Boink! I boop your nose. Oh, buggeration. I knew that was a risk. It's alright. I got my lava cookies. That's why we bought them. Workhorse wants to take... No. Uh, ads don't worry me. It's like, yeah, the, the, the super, super ugly loud ads. <laughs> who, who keeps... Who, who, who's blowing that stupid horn? Pookie blowing the follower. What? What? You weren't already following? What happened there? Did you unfollow and refollow? Well, what's going on, Pookie? <laughs> or, you, or you're trying to refollow to make sure you... Because you didn't get the email today. Maybe you're trying to refollow to refresh it. Weird. <laughs> uh, Sean O'Sullivan says, Not sure if you remember, but I said I was looking for a property a while ago. Finally got one. Hooray! Excellent. Congratulations. Let's uh, let's let's throw let's throw some. Uh, where's my mouse? My mouse has gone to sleep. There it is. Let's throw some blunty love for the house getting property getting. Pookie says, "I was following. I need a new. I need new mouse batteries." <laughs> well, that's a good point. If a dick cleaner emails were turned off, ah. Oops, I forgot to heal my burn. Crap. Dumb Blunty is dumb. Actually, that was distracted Blunty rather than dumb Blunty, but still. Um, it's alright, we should be able to get away with this. Um, Force Bomb's probably not going to one-hit KO Meditate. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> But we did get away with the status condition. Hooray. That's what I was hoping for. Who, who keeps... Who, who, who's blowing that stupid horn? Shiny Savage Uran just flew the stupid horn and followed. Thank you very much. All right, let's switch out. I'll give my burned Breloom a rest. And we'll bring in... Koza. JC says, when I'm in the US and excluding the bits and the only ads I see on Twitch are for new Twitch features multiple times in a row, at least for now. Ah, oh, that's right there. <laughs> that's not so annoying. Flying type move, thank you. Whoosh. A gentle breeze. Uh, Parkour Gamer says, but being a Twitch Prime, normal ads no longer run at all. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, and I'm a sub here, which also blocks ads for... Yes, yes, oh, yes. I have I have ads turned off for subscribers, obviously, because why wouldn't you do that? The people who have ads turned... Because you can turn ads on for subscribers if you're a dick. There is an option to do that in in, in your partner settings. You can absolutely turn ads on for, for subscribers. But who would do that? What kind of monstrous dickhead would turn ads on for subscribers? <laughs> Uh, Sean says, I am following you. I receive emails. However, it says follow. Weird. Shouldn't it say following? It should say following. Maybe Twitch is being glitchy again. They've had a few problems recently. Uh, Daryl Dixon says, yeah, Blunt, I finally did find it. Only cost 657. Yeah, yeah, they're not cheap. Daryl Dixon, they're not cheap, but they are worth it if you're streaming on a regular basis and you want your stream to look as good as mine. Perfect. Pixel, 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 perfect image, yeah. But no, the uh, 3DS capture kits are not cheap. They are literally assembled by hand. They're not made in a big factory or anything. There is a small group of sort of three to five people, I think it is, in a little office in Japan and actually have to solder the capture boards in by hand. So it's, it's very labor-intensive work. But worth it if you're going to use it on a regular basis like I do. Um, it makes such a difference to a, to a 
quote unquote professional streamer. <laughs> Alright, let's remember to heal up this time, shall we? Let's not be a dick to our Pokemon. Get some lava cookie action happening for my pro burned Breloom. There we are. Now I feel better. There was a time when subs could not be sub free. You mean ad free? Twitch changed it back when there were still people out there who ran with it. Yeah, I thought you meant every. Although, which Twitch said that a few months ago. Uh, whoop, 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 what's going on? Powercore Gambit, you had 300. My bits are green now. Um, No, they're not. They should be, shouldn't they? Maybe it takes a little second to kick in. <laughs> um, I thought Twitch said that a few months ago. I guess some of the streamers follow. I follow allowed that. Uh, I'm going to go back down for a second. I don't want to fight her yet. There's still a couple of other trainers I want to fight. Like this guy. There it goes. There it is. Power Cock Hammer rocking the green bit Pentagon. Is that? Yeah, that is a Pentagon. Ninja Boy Shuji. Another coughing. Okay, let's not be dumb and use fighting type moves against a poison type Pokemon this time. Let's go ahead and straight away stun Spore. So the guy we switch in has half a chance of surviving without being poisoned. Okay, no problem. Doom, doom. And Nuzleaf should do the trick. Doom. Uh, Paco Gamer says, that means I've given you 1,000 bits. Dang. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, 10 bucks. <laughs> 10 bucks worth of bits. Bit bucks. I appreciate it, mate. Um, faint attack should do us nicely, shouldn't it? Yep, sure will. Oh, forgot about the flamethrower thing. Survived without a burn. Awesome. Another faint attack should take him out. That's the way it's done. Uh, thing. Damn, using an actual keyboard keeps fucking me up. Sorry, if I was Jesse. It's all right, Jesse. I'm not. I'm not the world's best typist either. <laughs> A thousand bits is around thirteen forty dollars. Um, if you buy them, yes. But one bit is one cent at the streamer's end. Uh, I think. Hello, goof boys. How you doing? Um, I keep forgetting what the crown... Oh, there's a crown, the crown is Twitch Prime, isn't it? I keep forgetting what the crown thing means. <laughs> what headphones are rocking? These are the Sennheiser Game 1. Or possibly Sennheiser Game 0. There are two different types. I keep forgetting which is which. The only difference is the padding on the ear. One is sort of that leatherette stuff. The other is the soft felt stuff. I prefer the felty ones because they breathe easier. But the leatherette ones, because they seal better, have a better sound overall. But they both have this particular mic on them, which is why I use them, because it's one of the best sounding headset mics that I've ever come across. And which makes it nice to use on a stream. So I don't, I'm never ever off mic, yourself using a desktop mic, which I do have some nice desktop mics. But I like using the headset for streaming, because I move, and I'm never ever off mic. Ah, uh, the steam sings my eyes! I really should put that in the down below area, shouldn't I? I've got most of my hardware in the down below area, but I don't think I mentioned the headphones. I really should do that help people out because I do get asked that pretty much every day I stream what headphones are you using <laughs> all right so let's go up one see if we've got another trainer phone I just want to squeeze out a little extra XP before this gym there we go there we go one more guy then we'll go back to the boss fish says I have the rig 500 ease with the breathable ears so, yeah, yeah, the Rig 500Es with the breathable cups are possibly the most comfortable headset you can wear. 
particularly in the in the Aussie summer. They are so light. Um, and they sound great too, but the only reason I don't use them when I'm streaming is because the mic on these is better than the mic on the Rig 500s. Um, and I have actually spoken to the Plantronics people, like the Plantronics people, when the, when I went to the press briefing for the Rig 4 VRs, the, the new ones. Um, and I did mention to them that I would really love if they equipped one of their Rig headsets with a really, really good mic for streamers. Because the mics they've got now are fantastic for voice chat. Very, very crisp and clear, clean sound, but not rich enough for streamers like me who prefer a richer sound. So hopefully my advice gets to the right set of ears uh, at Plantronics. And maybe this time next year we'll have a rig headset with that beautiful, beautiful lightweight uh, you know, kit, but with a really good mic on them. Because Plantronics do do really good mics. They do that for, um, I mean, they, they, they used to make helicopter mics and stuff. And, and they do have the technology to put a good mic on their gaming headsets. They just haven't yet because they don't know if the demand is strong enough, I suppose. But anyway, I told them. I told them what I want. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> but these aren't too bad. They're not quite as comfortable or lightweight as the rigs, but they're pretty good in the, in the Aussie heat. Um, okay, let's go another force palm. Hopefully we don't get burned. Nice. Excellent. Dim, dim, dim. Parkour Gamer says, I dropped 1995 and 1500 bits yesterday. Mostly bought them for the cup on another stream. Alright, I should probably get that cup. If it's, if, it's, if it's encouraging people to spend more bits, I should probably do it. <laughs> I did look into it yesterday. I just haven't bothered you. Uh, a few more paychecks and upgrade to the red one. <laughs> red badge. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, is the lightness of the rigs that it really stand? Yeah, the rigs are a r ridiculously light headset. I, it's they feel like they should be incredibly fragile and cheap, but they aren't. I I mean, if you watch my video review of it, I twist the headset. I give it a real big twist, as I do with most of my headset reviews, and they are really solid, but amazingly light. They've done a fantastic job on them. Uh, Kecleon, show me. Switch. No. Oh, 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 oh. Back for this guy. Another sub. Thank you very much, Daryl Dixon. Wubble a dub 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 dub. Indeed. Thank you ever so much. Um. Awesome. We picked up a couple of subs today. Maybe it won't take me as long as I thought to get to the next couple of emoticons. <laughs> All right. So quickly on, we should be able to get away with a Mac punch on this guy without any problems at all. Yep. Oh, didn't knock him out. Ah, because color change, now fighting type. Uh, and a fire punch. That's, that's, uh, that should have been predicted, actually. We're in a fire gym, so that was, ooh, 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 Finn, why don't you come on out? Kecleon, fire type Kecleon. With fire type moves, let's uh, uh, fighting type. Sorry, not fighting type. Fighting type. Ha ha! Oh, still got to burn. Damn it! All right, no big deal. No big deal. Sploosh! Uh, the resistance says you deserve it. You help me a lot with your tutorial. Thank you, mate. Thank you. I'm glad it was helpful. I love I love that so many people have seen that and have thanked me about how helpful it is to getting their own streams running. I love that my video is that useful to people. It makes me feel great. It feels awesome to be actually helpful. <laughs> uh, red badge is 10k bits. Yowza. Alright, let's uh, do the Healy thing. All right, Brulum. Sorry, I let you get burned again, buddy. Sorry. Uh, wait. Restore is what I'm after. It's all right. That's why we bought all these lava cookies. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. Let's get you some soda pop to top you up. There you go, buddy. There you go. Who else needs some love? Nuzleaf. Whoops. 
Did it again. Set up up. Nom 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 nom. Good lad. And Finn, you need a lava cookie. And some soda pop while we're at it. Dee, 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 whoops. Alright. Now we can take on the gym leader. I think I missed a couple of trainers still, but who cares? We'll get over it. I feel like I need to make some progress now. <laughs> Goof Boy says, I've got a beast PC playing games like this. Come on, Blunty, expected more. Face to their own. Well, come on, man. I do play other games. It's just I love Pokemon too. You'll get over it. Oh, wait. No, we can't get to it from here, can we? Derp. We need to go one down. We need to go over there. How do we get over there? Do we go over here by there? Let's go this way. This should do it, shouldn't it? Go this way, then across one, then up one. Oh, looks like we do have one more trainer to fight. Good. Excellent. More XP. You must be getting tired by now. Would you like to rest in a hot bath, eh? But you should know that maintaining your willpower is an important ability for all trainers. The red badge is $100 American bits plus whatever the fee comes out to. You can buy 10,000 bits for $126 American with 10% discount for large purchase. I don't know. Math. <laughs> Alright, we know we can take this guy out. Easy peasy. Face bomb. Bum, bum. Yeah. It's um back on back on the subject of bits. It's interesting to see this is actually catching on. I didn't think it was going to catch on quite as quickly, but people are warming up to them. The people thought they were really stupid at first, and they are kind of stupid. But it's interesting to see people are totally getting into the whole bits thing. Alright, let's throw a quick save just in case I screw up. <laughs> now I can pussy out and reload. <laughs> Probably won't. Alright, one of the hottest gym leaders in the entire game, no pun intended. Look how sexy she is. <laughs> bah! <laughs> Oh, I love her so much. No, wait, I mean, Pony Trainer, you've done well to make it this far. Let's see, I'm uh, honored to be serving as the gym leader of. No, I mean, I'm Flannery and I'm in charge here. Uh, you've been an honest mate because I've only been a good leader for a short time. With the skills inherited from my grandfather, I'm going to do some more moves without the slip. Ah, uh, relax. Hiya! Flannery's awesome. Fish says, I have to go. I have to go. Are you not even going to stick around for the gym battle, Fish? Oh, jeez. All right, have a good one, mate. Thanks for hanging out again. That girl really needs a self-esteem boost? <laughs> yeah. She seems to be overcompensating a bit, hey. <laughs> She's a bit shy. Uh, bugger it, let's see if we can take out Slugmar again. Before we bring in my water type. Yep, no problem. Am I going to sweep this gym using a grass type? No, let's see how far we can go. I've only got three of those left though. Maybe it's enough. There we go. Now we're getting some uh, opposition. Yeah, it's death. <laughs> Got too cocky. You know what? Fuck it. Let's send Nuzleaf in. <laughs> B 
He goes, fuck you, Flannery. Boop. I boop your turtle nose. Uh, although being the granddaughter of a former E4 member would be tough. You know what? It would be a lot to live up to, wouldn't it? You'd be feeling it. I'm going to boop your turtle nose again. Boop! Uh, that's death. But more special attack. Falling. Alright. Who else? You know what? Let's continue the mockery. Go out, Ziggy. You could probably take him out, couldn't you? Rock Smash, maybe? Oh, Hyper Potion. Bitch. Oh, at least we, at least we made her use it up on the Torkoal. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, you know what? Sand Attack. Let's get that happening. Oh, he's got the White Smoke ability. Derp, derp, derp. Uh, should have named Nuzleaves Sombra since it boops noses. I don't get that reference because I have seen nothing of Sombra. I mean, I know it's a character and I know which game it is from and I know it's a new one and... But I know nothing about it. And people keep telling me I'm keeping making reference to it. Like in, in a video I went boop boop to make some things appear on screen. And people said, hey, it's, it's Blunty Sombra. So uh, presumably she goes around booping noses. Is that a character trait? I don't know. There we go. Another overheat. Hey. You're getting weak, Torkoal. You're getting weak. Boop. Haha, <laughs> it flinched. Nice. Oh, that's death. Squish. You squished my workhorse. Okay. Shall we keep dicking about, or shall we just... You know what? You know what? I know what I want to do. Oh, no, no. I should have saved Koza, shouldn't I? We'll do the old poison thing on the next... Yeah, you know what? Bugger it. We'll save him. We'll save the, the poison... Slash... Toxic shock thing. Doom, doom, doom. You got nothing. Right, let's see here. Hey, I thought what's smoke negated all stat changes. From moves it does. Not self-imposed stuff, I don't think. Hmm. Is this going to be enough? Yes, it is. Bye-bye, turtle. Tortoise, actually, I suppose. He says feet, not flippers. Got a level out of Bob, too. And Finn. Lovely. Numel, switch your Pokemon. Sure. Let's see if I can do this without using my water type. Go, Koza. Probably not going to last long against this, though. But if we get a poison off, I'll be happy enough. Yes! Are we going to survive long enough to do the Toxic Shock is the next question. Lava Plume? Probably not. Probably not. Not with Sunny Day Lava Plume. Oh, we survived! We totally survived. No way! <laughs> Everything's coming up Millhouse.
Nailed it. Didn't even have to use my water type in the entire gym. <laughs> Sweep the gym with grass types and a bug type. <laughs> nice. I enjoyed that. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. Possibly. Do, 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 do. All right. Gym victory hype of badge hype. I've only recently become a gym leader. I guess I was trying too hard to be someone I'm not. When I don't act like myself, no wonder Pokemon that battle unless I get confused. Thank you for teaching me that. You deserve this. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -da. Man, Koza! Koza out of nowhere! Who knew? Dustox was that friggin' tough. Who knew? <laughs> Lily, I mean, a sunny day lava plume. He survived a sunny day lava plume and got off the toxic shock. What a hero! Absolute hero. If you have the heat badge, all poke them up up to level 50. Even those you get in trades and other people will obey you completely. And let's poke them on. Use the HM move strength outside of battle. This is a doku of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. Overheat. And we use a fire type move that inflicts serious damage on the target, but also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. Do, do, do. Hooray! Boom, boom, boom. Beat the fire gym with bug and grass types, lol. And a dark type. We did use one dark type. Wow, scorching hot battle. Right? Do, 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 do. Hey Lily, so you so you were all right, huh? Oh well, you know. The last time I saw you, you were mixed up with those team what's it people. Have you got ADD yeah, by any chance, guy? Anyway, so I just wondered if you'd gotten back on the road after that. I was like, I don't know, guess what? It was a bit weird, worried. What? You better them again after that? And you even managed to beat them? You really are something else, Lily. You and your Pokemon. Your team. All that. It's sparkle there. Is that the meteorite you got from them? Alright. I forgot to give you this before. Hey, we've got the goggles. Desert time. Keep those with you if you're planning on going to the desert route near 111. There should be some Pokemon that only make their habitat in the desert, you know. You might check them out if you're up to it. And, huh? You got the Lava Ridge badge. So you even meet Flannery, huh? Looks like you've been taking proper care of your Pokemon. Guess that means you'll be headed to the Peterburg City next, eh? To challenge your dad in his gym? Well, if you are, that's just having to be thinking you're going to Peterburg yourself. So how about it? You want to get back to Peterburg together? Uh, sure. Feels like a good shortcut. Do, do, do. Uh... So we're here. Petalburg City. Lily, do your best with the gym. I'm behind you all the way. See ya. But first. Alright, so I guess we're gonna start next stream with a gym battle. Neat. Uh, but we are calling it a we are calling it a stream. We have been going for five hours forty three minutes. OBS managed not to crash on me today, which is good. As it did with the last couple of days. Alrighty, go outside. Go ahead and throw a save down. Although coming back to Peterburg, it's going to make it hard to grind, isn't it? Because we're full of we're surrounded by lower level Pokemon again. Ah oh, well. Save the game. There we go. We are. Come on, mouse, wake up. Boom. 
So, thank you very much, guys. Another great stream. I'm really having fun with these Pokemon streams, you guys. I'm really digging it. I'm loving it. Uh, we will be streaming again tomorrow and the day after and all the days up to Pokemon Moon and then we start playing Pokemon Moon when that happens. Uh, but thank you to... Uh, oh, pardon me, I burped. <laughs> thank you to Jasper and Blue who threw tip jar donations at me today. Thank you to our new subscribers. We had like two or three new subscribers today. Oh, burping again. Two or three new subscribers today. Thank you very much for that. Mega appreciated. Um, and of course, thank you to our uh, bits throwing type people. Uh, what do we call bit bit cheerers? Cheerers, I guess, is the th word for that. Thank you to the cheer people. Thank you to the chat room for helping uh, keep things lively and interesting, and keeping me chatting and giving me things to talk about. Uh, and thank you to any lurkers who just didn't want to directly participate, but was enjoying the stream passively, perhaps while playing Pokemon yourself. I appreciate you all, and I will see you, hopefully, again tomorrow. I'll be here. Whether you're here or not is up to you. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. See ya.